Most of the time that we're going uphill, we're gonna be skinning. But if you get to a section that's really steep, or maybe you're in questionable snow, or maybe you're stepping up into some bigger terrain, you might have to boot pack. You might just have to hike. So when we do that, we put our skis on our packs, and the reason for that is because we don't wanna have a shoulder carry. You're gonna have both hands free, and it's just easier. So with any backpack, you have two options of how to carry your skis. One is a diagonal carry across the pack, and then the other is an A-frame where you have one ski on each side. I'm gonna show you diagonal first. When I'm doing this, I usually have my knees into the hillside or we're even on a flat place. So I'll lay down my pack flat and then I'll take my skis off. And for this ski carry, I'm gonna strap them together. Keep my ski strap right in the top of my pack. And the idea for this is because with a diagonal ski carry, the skis go together. To strap them onto the pack, we just need to have a strap at the bottom and a strap at the top. So on this pack, the Solomon QST30, the top strap for the diagonal system is actually in this zipper. Some packs you kind of have to hunt around to figure out where the top strap is for a diagonal ski carry, but it'll always be there. So here's, the, here's this on that pack. And then on other packs, you can also just use the top strap like this. This one would work just as well for this pack as well. For the bottom strap, here on the QST30, it comes right across the middle. Most any pack, it's gonna be really obvious, um, and it's most likely gonna be in the middle rather than on just one side. So I'm gonna put my skis on the pack right there. I like to strap the top first when I'm doing a diagonal ski carry, especially with a big strap like this. So clip it around the back there. You can tighten that down. I'll show you in a second why I tighten it down a little extra afterwards. So now I'm on the bottom strap here and I put this bottom strap right underneath the heel pieces of the bindings. And the reason that I do that is to make sure that this bottom strap is gonna carry the weight of your skis. Clip that guy together. Tighten this one down nice. And then after I tighten that bottom strap, I'll actually come back to the top strap and tighten that a little more. You can see that the bottom strap carries the weight of the skis. It's right underneath the bindings there. And then I have the top strap nice and tight. And that pulls the skis away from my feet for a nice secure fit. When I'm boot packing, I like to make sure that my hip strap and my chest strap are on nice and tight because I have the weight of my skis on my back. But as you can see with this diagonal ski carry, because I tighten that top strap more, the tails of my skis are away from my feet so that I'm not hitting it when I'm hiking. The other ski carry on a pack is an A-frame where you have one ski on each side. So just like last time, I either have my pack against the hillside or I'm in a flat area so I can lay it down nice. With the A-frame, you wanna find your straps first. With most any pack, there's gonna be a really obvious strap on the bottom here. This pack has really nice straps there. And then an upper strap, some packs vary in that there'll be multiple straps up here, but this one has a really nice, just simple strap up there. So this one actually unclips at the top. I like to just have those unclipped, so I'm only having to put the ski through one strap at the bottom of the pack. So then, take my skis off, throw them on the pack. What I'm doing here is sliding it through that bottom strap of the pack and I'm making sure that that strap catches on the bottom of the binding so that it holds the weight of the ski there. And then up here, I'm clipping the top strap on. Wherever it, wherever it falls in place, sometimes it's over the binding or right underneath the toe piece. And I'll just strap that on, make sure that that top strap's nice and tight. And then I've got the other ski. The same thing here, I'm making sure that I slide the tail through the strap here. And sometimes with skin clips, it's nice to just make sure that your skin clip goes through nice and easy so that the skin's not coming off. And then the strap catches right on the bottom of the binding there so that it holds the weight of the ski. And then I have this top strap here this one clips, tighten it down. Now that we've got the skis on there, to make it a little bit more secure, I like to 
clip my tips together with a ski strap. Put the tips together nice and tight with a ski strap there. And that makes the skis extra secure. And then it also widens the tails of the skis so that you're not stepping into those and hitting those with the heels of your ski boots while you're walking. This one's extra secure. I actually prefer the A-frame ski carry. So there it is. Those are my tips. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and make sure that you subscribe for more episodes like this. I'll see you in the mountains.